Never Stop Learning week 190. We're going to take a quick look at the Patch Tool Normal in Adobe Photoshop CC 2014. All right, so here I have an image and I want to get rid of this little guy right here. So I could use a patch tool to take care of that. First thing I want to do is show you how to activate the patch tool. If you come over here to the tools panel, you're going to find this tool here. This is actually the spot healing brush tool. If you click and hold, you're going to find the patch tool is in the same stack. Now there's a keyboard shortcut. If you hit J, you're able to access this stack. Now what I mean by this stack is if I leave the spot healing brush tool as the last one activated, and come over here to the move tool. Now, if I want to bring up the patch tool, I'm going to think I could hit the J key, but that's going to bring up the last tool that was used in that stack. In order to find the patch tool, I want to hit shift J a couple times until I find the tool. All right, there we go. So now I got this guy activated and it's ready to go. So let's see how it works. I'm going to zoom in on this guy. And all I have to do is make a selection right in here. Now, I get this no symbol right here, and that's because I'm working with a smart object over here in the layers panel. All right, if I were to click and drag, I get this warning. Pretty much, if I hit OK, I'm going to rasterize my smart object. If I want to keep my smart object, I'm going to hit cancel. All right, if you want to work with your smart object, you want to uh, make a copy of the layer so that you could mess up that one and then keep your smart object without any changes. All right, I'm going to click OK so I could rasterize that layer. And now let's see how this works. All right, so I'm going to click, and drag over here, and then release. All right, when I deselect, you see it's done a really good job of making that change for me. It's got rid of that hook. All right, if I undo that, let's talk about what's going on in here. I'm going to deselect this. The patch tool is like two tools in one. The first part of it is it's a selection tool. So it works like the lasso tool. All right, the other part of it is when I click and drag and drop it off somewhere else, it's actually going to grab that information and also heal it into this new area. If you notice over here, it's a brighter yellow over here on the left. It's a darker yellow. It's actually starting to get more orangey red over here on this side, but Photoshop has done a really good job about healing that for us. All right, let's zoom out a little bit and then just undo this. All right, now let's take a look at what's going on over here in the options bar. Now, the first thing we're seeing here is going to be the option for our tool preset picker. Now, we don't have any presets just yet, so I'll bring that up at the end. Over here, you see that because it is a selection tool, we have different selection modes we could work with. All right, the one we're gonna be working with by default is new selection. So that means every time I were to draw out a new selection, it's gonna remove the old selection. All right, if I click on this guy, I'm gonna add to the selection over here, this is going to subtract from the selection. This guy is actually going to intersect with the selection. All right, I usually leave it like this, the way it works by default. And then I use my keyboard modifiers to bring up these modes. All right, so if I want to add to this selection, I'm going to hit the shift key, click and drag. There you go. If I want to remove from the selection, I'm going to hold down the option key or alt on a PC. All right, and then if I want to intersect, I'm going to hold down shift and option at the same time. Bring this guy up like that. And there you go. All right. So I'm going to deselect this one. Now over here, we have patch normal. If I click on this little drop down menu, it's going to show patch content aware. Now that's going to be a topic that I'm going to cover in a separate video. We'll stick to normal for now. Over here, we've been drawing using this mode right here. It shows patch source from the destination. All right. So let me just explain that a little bit more. All right, I'm going to click and drag to create my selection. All right, so what we're doing is we're defining our source. Everything inside of the selection is our source. I'm going to click and drag to our new destination. And we're going to use the information from our destination to fill in and patch our source. All right, so I'm going to undo that, deselect. The other mode we have over here. This one is going to be patch destination from source. Now, this one didn't really make sense to me at first. So let me activate it and show you what's going on here. All right, I'm going to click and drag to make this selection. And now I'm going to click and drag to bring it to a new destination. Now, before I release, I'm going to tell you what's going on. We're going to use the information from our source to patch the area over here for our destination. All right, so I'm going to release. And then deselect, 
And there you go. So it's a long way of saying we're going to make a copy of this. We're using the information that we had inside of our selection to paste it over here into our destination. And it's done a really good job of uh, healing that in there as well. All right, so another thing we have over here is going to be uh, the transparency button. All right, so I'm going to click on this guy and activate it and switch over to this other image that I have set up here. All right, so I'm going to make a selection, but this time I'm not going to use the patch tool. I'm going to actually use the uh, marquee, the marquee tool, the ellipse tool. There we go. All right, so I'm going to click and drag, hold down option, drag this guy out, and release. So you see I'm using this uh, marquee ellipse tool to define my source. I'm going to hit the J key to bring up the patch tool. Because it was the last one I used in that stack, I just have to hit the J key alone. Now I'm going to click and drag. Now remember, we have that transparency button on. I'm going to release. So we're making a copy over here. With this transparency button turned on, what's really happening is we're creating a blend between our patch and the image that we have right there at the bottom. All right, now if I come over here, click Use Pattern, it's going to use the pattern that I have loaded in here. I could load any pattern that I define right over here. All right, so I'm going to click on Use Pattern, and it's going to fill it in with that bubble pattern. Now, the bubble pattern is not going to work too good in this image. What I should have done is made a selection and defined some of this grass and used that pattern in here, and maybe that will help my patch blend in a little bit better. All right, so we've made a lot of changes to the settings over here in the options bar. If I come over here to the left, click on this little guy here, this is where we're going to bring up our tool presets for the patch tool. If I click on this button right here, it's going to allow me to create a new patch tool saved off with these settings. All right, so I could go ahead and name it so I get an idea of what it is, and then I could create as many patch tools as I need, and I could bring them up really quickly. And there you have it, folks. That's a quick walkthrough the patch tool normal in Adobe Photoshop CC 2014.